Hey everybody, Josh Remini here with Dilworth Drug and Wellness. I'm here in my home office due to COVID, of course. Um, and this week we uh, got the news that Amazon was starting their own pharmacy. And most people would think as a business owner that owns a pharmacy that like, this is, this is a threat. This is something that's gonna threaten my, uh, my existence in small business. And I had a, I had a friend who, who's a small business owner. He's like, they're gonna put mom and pop pharmacies out of business. And my first thought was, yeah, if we do the same thing they're trying to do, which is cheap, easy, convenient pills, which is a commodity, brought to your door and no problem, right? So I'm looking at this as the best thing that could have possibly happened because we're about to launch the exact opposite of what Amazon is trying to accomplish. And our version of this is our RX to wellness initiative. What we're going to launch is personalization, um, patient-centered, which means it's all about you, not about the pill, not about the diagnosis personalizing it to that person. Amazon cannot personalize. They're the exact opposite of that. Uh, we back everything by science. So all the things we do um, are really designed to go beyond the pill and not at the pill only uh, and results oriented. So we go on someone's personalized goals to get them going and then give them accountability. How much accountability does Amazon give someone to follow through with a health related goal or initiative? None, right? They're gonna drop it at your door. The Amazon driver's there. You're gonna get cheap pills for free. So if you're a cheap pills or cheap for free person and you don't want any of those personalization, accountability, all that type of stuff, well, go for it. I'm happy for that because the people that value what I value in healthcare, I want them to come to me. That's the patience that we want. We're happy to give our patients the pills that they deserve but we are going beyond that. And our RX to Wellness initiative that we're launching is gonna be incremental towards this whole thing. I'm calling it an initiative because it's more than just one thing. And so what we're gonna be doing over the weeks and months is really kind of focusing in on that space, okay? Is what can we be doing that goes beyond the pill that is better and healthier for our patients?